Okay, this is Temple OS 5-Minute Random Code Walkthrough, episode number 6, and I'm your host, Terry Davis. So here we go, Alt-B to find some random code. And where are we? We are in GR Bitmap. Okay, what this code is, is for blotting a uh, bitmap. So what we have is a... Uh, there's a destination device context and a source device context. This is the destination, this is the source. So uh, what we're dealing with is uh, a device context is a structure. It has a width, a height. Then it has a, a body, which is, uh, it, has a, it has some other stuff, a pen width, a color, a brush. Um, it's it's a con device context. Then it has a body, and this is a um, this is a uh, an, an array of U8s. So there's one there's one byte per pixel, and it can be 16 colors, or it can be transparent. Um, we can't. It's not 256 colors. It's not 256 colors. It's only uh, it's 16 colors, or FF is transparent. So when, when we blot, um, let's see what we have to do. Uh, well, um, basically, we, uh, we trim the width and height based on uh, overlap, get that figured out so that we have w, H2 and W2 for width and height. And uh, we go through the standard startup for each graphics routine. Um, if it's uh, we record the extents, um, there's a this is a feature of the you can turn on record extents and then it'll um, it'll it'll uh, expand a bounding rectangle. And uh, if if we want, if you set don't draw in the device context, we return early. Otherwise, we uh, we basically we um, we process eight pixels at a time with some leading and some trailing um, we, we have uh, some leading pixels we align to an 8 byte boundary and uh, we have leading pixels and trailing pixels now uh, let's see color color is determined by the image um, let's see how we how we handle 8 pixels at a time um, there's raster operations we can check for collisions we can we can convert uh, a mono image into a color what that does is let's say you want to draw a mono image in yellow then um, what it does is it uh, it uses some um, arrays of uh, let's see you can see it's uh, transferring um, 64 at a time uh, color mask let's see so if we're doing a mono, the color mask is set by two eight colors. What two eight colors is is a uh, um, this is a um, uh, let's say dump gr two eight colors. This is an array of. Um, it's eight zeros, eight ones, eight twos, eight threes, eight fours, eight fives. So um, the, there are only sixteen are used plus the transparent. So it um, it makes a um, it, it just we want to process eight at a time. So this uh, loads in eight of a certain um, value, and uh, then we we uh, we we do the leading uh, pixels. Then we do the 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 then we do the pixels eight at a time. Then we do the trailing pixels. You know this is uh, pretty close to the. Uh, it's not that many orders of magnitude different from the uh, 640. So if we do a rectangle that's 40, then that means we probably have five leading, five trailing, and uh, and only two two chunks of eight. So that, that's if it's a if it's a mono, we uh, we basically do a boolean to test uh, 
Oh, we're dealing with Z buffer as well. Um, when you uh, when you deal with three dimensions, um, if you have a Z buffer, um, this 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 part of the if is if it's a Z buffer, and uh, that means we check against the uh, the. Uh, um, oh, this is the window Z buffer. This is not the graphic Z buffer. Um, we don't use the graphic C buffer on this. Um, when we have a, um, we don't have a bitmap for each uh, window. We just have one master bitmap, and um, all windows are on an eight by eight pixel grid. You can see when I move this around, it moves up a, a text character. So uh, the the window Z buffer is um, the uh, that's. That's um, that's just to see if uh, um, let's say over here we say uh, gr this is similar gr rectangle uh, oh cdc star dc gr alias dc alias then we say gr rectangle rectangle dc comma let's say let's set the color uh, dc color equals red gr rectangle dc 100 let's do uh 300 comma 200 comma 200 comma 200 okay. oh wow that's not what i expected i expected it to obey the uh Oh, that's for the persistent layer. I don't know what happened. Anyway, um, sometimes it obeys the uh, the window. I guess persistent layer doesn't obey it. Maybe that's a bug. I don't know. Anyway, uh, I was expecting it to uh, um, obey the Z buffer for the window. Um, oh, well. Well, that sucks. Well, maybe I'll have to investigate that. DC fill. So, uh, oops. Anyway, so uh, that's what that Z buffer is supposed to be. I don't know what happened. I, maybe the persistent layer doesn't. It should obey it. Anyway, uh, and uh, if we have, uh, um, well, anyway, so it has leading and trailing that uh, align to a uh, 64 byte. 64-bit, um, 8-pixel. Uh, so we transfer 8 at a time. We do leading and trailing, and then we transfer 8 at a time during the middle. So that's that's what this is.